Good morning, City Church. It's so groovy for you to be with us today. There is like a lot going on this month, so listen up because here's the skinny. We got info about the blue door. We got info about City Church Red. We got all that, you space cadets out there, so listen up or you'll miss it. Hey, yo, 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 take a chill pill, Turk. It's all good up in here. Don't be a spaz. All right, I'll catch you on the flip side. And now, the news. Hey, have you heard the one about Blue Door Coffee and Waffles? Yeah, that it exists. Yep, that's pretty much it. Except it does more than just exist. It, it revolutionizes. It sure does. A place for healthy community and delicious drinks. Blue Door Coffee and Waffles is City Church's own coffee shop downtown. Drop by this week and try a new menu item. Yeah, the Macho Mint Randy Savage. It's an icy blend of matcha and mint. It's the cream of the crop. Ooh, yeah! Dig it! Blue Door Coffee and Waffles at 1718 Bull Street. City Church Red is our outreach center located at 41st and Montgomery. Yes, and through Red, we have an opportunity to be good neighbors to our friends in the Kyler Brownsville neighborhood. Yesterday was Serve Day, which takes place on the first Saturday of every month. This coming Saturday will be Community Day at Red. Community Day takes place every second Saturday of the month. On Community Day, you will have the opportunity to engage in an activity there in the community. In fact, it is our goal to co connect our community groups to opportunities every second Saturday with Red. Did you mean to rhyme that? You said community opportunity. Hey, it works, doesn't it? Now you won't forget. First Saturday is Serve Day. Second Saturday is Community Opportunity. That's right, and third Saturday is Brown Bag Groceries. At City Church Red at Kyler Brownsville neighborhood. First. Wind. Ness. Day. This week. First Wednesday. Come join us to worship here at 7 p.m. There's always a special surprise afterwards. I can't wait. In the book of 2 Corinthians, the Apostle Paul is writing a letter to the church at Corinth. It is a very vulnerable time in Paul's life, as well as a delicate time in the lives of some of the believers who had various struggles in their life at that time. I guess you could say that many of them are trying to build a breakthrough. Yes. Yes, you could say that. What we see in 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 10, is that Paul is encouraging them, even in the midst of their own struggle. He encourages them by saying that he who supplies seed to the sower and bread for food will supply and multiply your seed for sowing and increase the harvest of your righteousness. And this is our prayer for you this month as you sow into the needs right here in our community through your giving at City Church. May you also see increase in your life as you trust God who supplies. That's right. And when you give to City Church, we aim to put those resources right back here into our own community and city, as well as strategic places globally. And we can do this because of our connection through RED for local missions, as well as connections in Africa, Mexico, Italy, Asia, and India. And there are three easy ways to give at City Church. In person at the Giving Box, online at citychurch.life, or text to give by following the prompts on the screen. And if you are visiting with us today, we don't ask you to give. We would rather give you a special gift just for being here today. Stop by the Connect desk after service and allow us to give you something special. And if you would like to know more about City Church, simply fill out one of these, a Connect card, and return it to the Connection desk. And as always, thanks for being here today.